This video is going to be for my Never Stop Learning blog, week 94, where I'm going over creative backgrounds in Adobe Illustrator CS6. I'm actually going to be showing you how I created this background here in this video. So let me go ahead and hide this background. And first I want to create a layer below the layer I'm currently on. And there's an awesome keyboard shortcut for that. It's Control alt l The reason I really like this keyboard shortcut is it allows me to name my layer immediately. New background, enter. Now I'm ready to start drawing. So control minus a couple times. What I want to do is create a large orange rectangle to cover this entire area. So I hit the letter M to make sure I have my rectangle tool on. Now click and drag starting from the upper left area down to the bottom right. And if you notice, I do have my rectangle, but it has the basic default appearance of a white fill with a black stroke. And I want to make changes to that. So I have my fill activated. So I'm going to make changes to that over here with my swatch panel. I'll click on this orange swatch and then I'll hide the panel. If you notice though I still have a stroke so I want, uh, I want to eliminate the stroke. To activate it I have to hit the letter X and then I hit the forward slash key and that eliminates my stroke altogether. The forward slash key shares the same space with the question mark. So I hit the letter V to get my selection tool and I'll come up to my options bar and make sure that this is set to align to artboard and it is. So I'll do a horizontal align center and a vertical align center. Next I want to lock this shape down to make sure nothing happens to it. So I'll hit control 2 on my Windows machine. So if I click and drag nothing happens to that shape. Alright, next I'll come over to my shape panels and look up my star tool. The way the star tool works is it draws from the center out. So just keep that in mind when you're drawing with the star tool. Over in the upper left I'm going to click and drag out. And to make sure the star is straight I'm going to hold down the shift key. And if you want to change the angle of the points of your stars, just add the control key and that's how you change the angles. Once you get it looking how you want it, uh, release your mouse, then the keys. I want to change the appearance to the star because right now it has an orange fill with no stroke, but I actually want it to have the default appearance, so I hit the letter D and that gives it a white fill with a black stroke. Next, I'll hit the letter V for my selection tool, hover over my new shape and hold down the alt key and now you see it, there's a double cursor there indicating that I'm going to be able to make a copy of it once I click with my mouse and drag to the right and if I hold down shift it'll make sure it's straight I'll release my mouse then the keys and then I'll hit control D a couple times to duplicate that action control A selects all the artwork in that layer and then control G will group all, all of my selected artwork together next what I want to do is this horizontal align center. Hover over my shape, hold down alt, click and drag down and when I hold down shift it makes sure it's nice and straight for me. I release my mouse, then the keys, then control D a couple times to fill in the area. Control A to select all of my stars and then control G to put all those groups into a group. Next I'm going to do a vertical align center and now I know all my stars are perfectly centered with my artboard. Next I'm going to start making adjustments to these strokes and I have Astute Graphics with Scribe tool installed into my system so I'm just going to call upon this with gradient panel. I'll click on that once to activate the tool. I'll click on the center of my artboard and drag it out to the edge. Let me do that one more time so you can really see what's going on. Alright, let me walk you over here to this panel. If you see I have this tool, it's set in radio mode and my start point is at 100% but it's also saying that the end point should be multiplied by 400%. So I'll click right here for my start point and then drag it out to my end point and when I release you'll see all these strokes in the middle are very thin and then the ones at the edge are very thick because they've been multiplied over 400%. Uh, next I'll close out this panel by hitting this little X. Click on opacity and then I want to change the opacity to 20% and change the blend mode to overlay. Hit enter to get rid of that panel. Next I'll hit the F key two times to remove all my user interface. Control 0 fills in my screen. Control shift A to deselect my artwork. And there you have it. That's how I created this background using Adobe Illustrator CS6 and Astute Graphics with Scribe tool. If you want to read more about it, you could click on the link that's in the description below or just go to SebastianBleak.com and on the top you will see a link for artwork. You click on that and it will take you to my Never Stop Learning blog and just take a look around there. Hope you find something you like. Thanks and have a good one.